everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about if you live in Australia, you would have like seen the hype. Chi Chi have launched all new eyeshadow palettes and the main star of the show for me that like was on their promotions page was this Aphrodite Goddess of Love Beauty eyeshadow collection. 54 shades guys and I haven't used it, I've just opened it and I've just, I haven't even swatched it. It is huge, like this, like look at the size of this packaging. Um, so there is a couple of new shades in here they say and there's just some from their previous palettes. This is what it looks like. Can we just take a moment to appreciate like the colours. It is a warm palette, comes with a mirror. Um, I actually got this from Alex, um, he bought it for me so it is $49 which I think is actually good value because you get 54 eyeshade, eyeshadows, eyeshades, eyeshadows. Um, and it's beautiful, you can fold it over as well. Let's just like, I'm just gonna leave this here so you guys can just look at it. Um, and I'll just let you guys look at it. If you wanna pause it and just look at it, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to use this palette today for my eye look. Um, I don't know, I might just voice over my face and all that now and we'll jump into the eye look in like a couple of minutes or so. So I'm just going to skip to me doing my base eyebrows and that really quickly and then we'll jump into this palette. So cue voice over Sam now. Okay, so foundation and eyebrows are done. I'm just going to do the rest of it after. So we're going to jump into this palette. I don't even know what look I'm going to do. The shades don't have names, so I'm just going to have to explain to you what colour I'm using. But I am going to prime my eyelids with some matte soft ochre paint pot because... Again, alright, now we are nice and close. Just going to use some translucent powder to set that down. I'm really glaring right now. I think I want to use this pink as my base colour. So I'm going to work a way around to get a nice crease colour. I want to try and keep it quite neutral. I usually go for quite some heavy browns and that. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with this colour right here. This, that matte one there. And pop that in my crease. Layla is literally just outside my window looking at me. The mirror is huge. Oh my god. So just popping that in my crease. Seems to be picking up pigment. A little bit of kickback on the palette. This colour here. A little bit, but not, uh, not a lot that I'm bothered. That's blended quite nicely. I still want to build my crease up a little bit. So I'm going to take, I don't know what look I'm doing. I'm so confused. I'm going to take this color right here and pop that on top of what I've just done. Oh my God, look, focus on the brush. Can you guys see that pigment? Okay, that is definitely pigmented. I'm then going to take this pinky colour, I could just stuff up this whole look. I'm going to take a mixture of both this one, sorry guys, this palette is big. This one here and this one here, so these two. Both very pigmented. And I'm just applying that a little bit lower than the orange. I feel like I've just made my own shade just then. This one here and just pop that on the outer V. I don't think I have a clean brush for this. Oh. I'm just going to use the brush that came with one of the palettes of the Chi Chi ones. So I'm just going to pack it on and then blend. And then just going to pick up that second transition colour, which was that orange one, and just apply a little bit more over top. A 
is beautiful. And I know guys, I've got one eye that's really slanted. It's this one here. So it always looks like it is so messy here. It's just the way my eyes are shaped. I've learned to deal with it. Right, so now we're gonna grab that star of the show, which was that pinky color. This one here. I'm going to pop that on my eyelid. Now I'm gonna try it with my finger first and then probably use a brush. I'm gonna lay that down and then I'm gonna add a color on top of that as well. And the pop of color, I'm going to actually use this one. So lower lash line, I'm going to take a mixture of both that orangey color, that one there, mixed with that pink there for my lower lash line. Well, I think I like I literally just make my own color right there. It's beautiful. Yep, looks like I've been punched in the face. Probably look better with mascara. In a corner highlight, I'm going to like sort of liven myself up and use this shimmery white one in the corner here. It looks matte on the camera, but trust me, it's quite shimmery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nude in the waterline. I was going to put a white and I was like, I probably look really ghastly. I'm going to curl my lashes and then use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara at the moment. I never thought I'd be able to replace my CoverGirl one, but this hands down is such a good formula. Um, it leaves the eyes not so wet, like it's just not such a wet mascara, which I really like. And I don't know if it has fibers or that in it, but it really just like gets every single lash really well. Oh no, dang it. We will clean that up when it is dry. <laughs> I am not touching it now. Right, I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my face. I look so ghastly white right now. Um, keeping with the Chi Chi theme, I'm just gonna use the Chi Chi highlighting and contouring palette. And I'm gonna go into number eight. That's number three, Sam. <laughs> number eight here, and I'll bronze up my face. I'm not really one to contour, but I'm going to contour with that shade number five. Chi Chi again, going to use the Marilyn color. This one here, it's quite light. And I want to go to... Might as well dedicate this whole video to a Chi Chi because I'm going to use the... Celestial Go, Go, Go Glow Palette. This is the first one. And I'm probably gonna use this one here, which is Venus. I'm just trying to get a good light for you to see because it's so bright. But that one there. Oh, you can see it better in the camera. What am I doing? I'm gonna use this Rimmel one, which is their Moisture and Use Sheer Shine one. I don't want to go like too hand. Okay. I don't want to go too full on with like a lipstick because I feel like my eyes are just like so crazy. So I'm going to use this. It's quite a sheer sort of lip. I'll see how it goes. And I'm just going to set my face with the Models Prefer Finale Spray. The one, whatever I can grab. everyone so that's the finished look I hope you guys liked it I'll just zoom you in so you can see my eyes so it's very sort of like pink and in your face you probably darken it up a bit if you wanted to but I just quite like this 
it's actually not as punched in my face as what I thought it was and when you bronze and add the rest of your base it sort of suits so I'm just going to zoom it back out. Okay so just to clarify this palette is $49 in, you can get it in Target and Maya in Australia and it's just beautiful so this is the palette here. I would recommend this palette hands down it is beautiful blends amazingly it is very pigmented the mattes are phenomenal i do think though that some of the shimmers you will need a bit of fix plus or something to just wet your brush with if you want like a really pale foiled eyeshadow look otherwise if you're just after like a really nice subtle like glitter sort of look you probably get away with it anyway i don't really have anything else except i probably will do more looks with this palette because like i said 54 shadows and I only did one look, I feel like I could probably get away with another gold look. More like purpley, like I really would like to do a nice matte look with these ones here. Like these oranges are just joyful. So I expect to see some more looks with this palette. If you are wanting to leave me a comment of an idea you'd like to see from the thumbnail or like the still I left on this, please let me know because I will obviously film it for you guys. Please leave me requests on videos. Like I cannot stress that enough. I sometimes need new ideas. So just leave me Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!